Hello and welcome to Rock Tour. In this video, we will take you on a one of a kind adventure through various geometries. We start in a well known and quite familiar Euclidean geometry. You might think that you've seen this before because the world is made of cubes and it resembles Minecraft. However, this is not Minecraft, this is something more strange. And look at those arch-like structures. These are portals that will guide us to other geometries, and we will look for them in each world we will travel to. So without further ado, let's go through this green portal. You may need to adjust to the craziness of this unfamiliar world. We will do it slowly and explain the visual effects you will see. The first rule is do not be fooled by your eyes. The structures far away from you appear to be compressed vertically. They seem to be very, very narrow. But hey, look! As you come closer, this effect becomes weaker. Non-Euclidean geometry comes with perspective working differently than you would expect. Accept that your intuitions gained in the Euclidean world may be useless here. The second rule is pay attention to the shapes you see. Look, the world is no longer based on the cubes. We told you this is not Minecraft. The faces we see here are pentagonal. Their edges may appear curved, but they are not. Again, this is only because the perspective works weirdly. The third rule is feel free to measure the angles. If you examine any of those pentagons, you will see that the edges are straight. Moreover, all angles of those pentagons are 90 degrees. And yes, this is a shape that is not possible in your Euclidean world. And this is not just a perspective trick. This world is really different. We are now in a hybrid geometry. Even though the pentagons are weird, they are put on each other just like in the Euclidean geometry. Side walls and floors are plain old Euclidean squares. Okay, let's use another portal to understand where the weird pentagons come from. Welcome to three-dimensional hyperbolic geometry, the homeland of the weird pentagons. Now you see them everywhere, just like you saw squares everywhere in the starting Euclidean world. This is not a hybrid geometry, so the perspective effects are more consistent. Now you see clearly that the edges are straight. Even though there are no stretching effects, the perspective is still not what you would expect. To your Euclidean brain, it feels more like fast zooming in than moving forward. This is especially visible when we enter the portal. We didn't want to scare you, so we slowed down. Now, let's cross the portal again, but at the normal pace. Ok, ok, enough! You might need some rest in the Euclidean world. Just joking, the hyperbolic geometry is not the limit. Our tour will take you through even weirder geometries. Look, here is another portal. This is another hybrid geometry. Previously, we stacked weird pentagonal objects from the hyperbolic geometry, now we stack spheres. Ok, ok, yes, this might surprise you. We know you imagine spheres to look differently and that you even live on the surface of one. Sorry, deal with it. For your convenience, we have equipped you with jetpacks. Hope you enjoy the view. The spherical geometry is the opposite of the hyperbolic geometry. Note that the objects far away are stretched vertically. Recall, they were compressed in the previous hybrid geometry. Time to enter spherical geometry
There are no parallel lines here, they always cross. This is a very, very small world, not much to explore here. Let's go back. In the spherical geometry, objects that are far away from us appear to be relatively big. Look at the portal here. As we are approaching it, it becomes smaller and smaller to us. Oh, another portal! Let's dive in! Do you know where we are? This is again hybrid hyperbolic geometry. Sorry, no pentagons this time. Have curved squares instead. Look at the side walls of these portals. They consist of three curved squares, each of which has two vertical edges and two curved edges. On top of every curved cube, we could put two curved cubes. This is because parallel lines in hyperbolic geometry diverge, and we have more and more space the higher we go. Welcome to Solve, the weirdest geometry of this tour. In Solve, we also have curved cubes, which are a bit similar to those in the previous world. Look at the front of a portal. There are again two cubes on top of every cube. However, when we look from the side, we can see one cube on top of two cubes. No, this is not a perspective trick. This is the way this geometry works. Ok, this was the last highlight. Time to go back to your Euclidean world, you had better follow us, we do not want you to get lost here. Hope you enjoyed the tour, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day!